Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a circuit shown consists of two identical coils each of inductance L, two identical capacitors each of capacitance C okay, and connected with an alternating voltage source we need to find out the expression for angular frequency of the source at which the peak voltage between the terminals A and B becomes eta times the peak voltage of the source ok fine. So, let us redraw the circuit once again. So, inductor, capacitor, capacitor and an inductor ok. So, let us consider that the voltage source looks like this <coughs> fine. So, here the impedance or we if we write in complex form the resistance of each uh, components here it will be minus x c again j times minus j times x c j times x l fine. So, this one is point a this one is point b. So, if we connect a voltmeter here let the reading of the voltmeter be v prime this one is v fine. If we consider here a zero potential here it will be V, so V, V, zero, V. So, potential drop across these two branches are same <coughs> fine. So, if we find the potential at point A, okay, it would be V A equals to the potential at this junction is V minus the potential drop here. So, V minus the current. So, the current is V divided by mod Z times j x l ok plus minus again plus minus. So, potential at point B would be V minus V divided by mod Z minus j x c ok. <coughs> so, potential difference between B and A will give you j V divided by mod Z x c plus x l ok. So, we have this one equals to V prime. So, finally, V prime can be written as J V naught sin omega t just putting the value of V here mod of Z x c e plus x l ok. Now, if you just absorb this value of J inside the phase, so we can modify the equation like this sin omega t plus pi by 2 divided by mod of z. Now, mod of z, so let us write down the z because both the branches have same impedance z is equal to j x l minus j x c. So, j times x l minus x c. Okay. Now, it totally depends. So, basically there will be two situations where x l will be greater than x c in one situation and in the other one x c will be greater than x l. So, we will basically have two values of source frequency which satisfies the given condition in the question. Okay. So, let us take the first one uh, mm -hmm. x l differ x c let me write differ only x c plus x l. Okay. Now, what the question they have asked that potential di difference between the terminals A and B will be eta times that of the peak voltage of the source. Okay. So, the peak voltage of this terminal A and B will be just remove this sign part. So, the whole thing becomes x c plus x l x l divided by x l differ x c will be equal to eta times the peak voltage of the source. So, what is the peak voltage of the source? It is V naught. So, eta times V naught. Okay. So, we have final got eta equals to x c plus x l divided by x l differ x c fine. So, again previously I have said that there will be two situation one is x l greater than x c. So, let us just solve it here. So, x c is 1 by omega c x l is omega l 1 by oops sorry omega l minus 1 by omega c. So, this becomes 1 plus omega square L c divided by omega square L c minus 1. 
so eta omega square lc minus eta equals 1 plus omega square lc so we are interested in omega square so taking omega square lc common eta minus 1 equals to 1 plus eta so for xl greater than xc we have omega equals to root over 1 plus eta divided by eta minus 1 1 by lc so this is our one value of the frequency and the other one we will get when x c is greater than x l. So, we will start from this equation. So, eta equals x c plus x l divided by x c minus x l. So, 1 by omega c plus omega l divided by 1 by omega c minus omega l equals 1 plus omega square l c divided by 1 minus omega square l c. So, eta minus eta omega square L c equals 1 plus omega square L c omega square L c we have to we are taking common 1 plus eta equals eta minus 1. So, omega equals to eta minus 1 divided by 1 plus eta 1 by L c root over. So, we have two frequencies which will satisfy the above mentioned condition in the question. Okay. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. Uh, one more thing, I won't be uploading any videos in the upcoming couple of days because I will be, uh, I am actually taking a small break from, from my schedule. Okay. So, and my throat is not supporting at all with all these offline classes and regular uploads. Okay. So, I hope you all will do your best in your upcoming exams and see you in the next one. Peace.